Welcome to the Sharkpreneur Podcast with Kevin Harrington and Seth Green. Kevin Harrington is the inventor of the infomercial, one of the original sharks from the hit TV show Shark Tank, and has generated over $5 billion in TV and digital direct response sales. Seth Green is the world's first trusted authority on cutting edge direct response marketing, a best selling author, and the only three time Marketer of the Year nominee. On the podcast, Kevin and Seth interview sharkpreneurs who share straight talk on what it takes to explode your business. 49 faces looked to him in triumph. Over the last 12 months, they had each taken turns and promoted his business for a week at a time, driving over $987,342 in revenue. What if you had a network of 50 centers of influence who promoted your business every week for a year? Grab your copy of the number one Amazon best-selling book, The Ultimate Guide to Growing Your Business with a Podcast, at 33% off the Amazon price by going to ultimatepodcastbook.com. Again, that website for 33% off the Amazon price is ultimatepodcastbook.com. Welcome to the Sharkpreneur Podcast. This is your co-host, Seth Green. Today, I've got the good fortune to be joined by a repeat guest, Bryce Holmes from Envata Global. Last time, we talked about Envata Global Marketing. Today, we're here to talk about Envata Global Capital. Bryce, thanks so much for coming back. Thank you for having me back. It's a pleasure to be here. Our pleasure. So let's talk about what is Envata Global Capital. Well, for the first time, we're actually opening up our investment opportunities to the public. Um, Traditionally, what we've done is invested in our own properties and products. But we're excited to announce that we're now raising for multiple real estate projects. A couple of exciting ones we're working on in Costa Rica right now. We're really excited about that. We have a 36-room boutique hotel that is five-star luxury, but we focus primarily on ecotourism and sustainability. Awesome. So just to, for the legal purposes, disclaimer, we are not making any offers to invest in anything on today's podcast. Correct. You must do your own due diligence. Follow up with Bryce if this is something that interests you or your clients. So talk to me about how a marketing firm suddenly becomes, you know, a real estate developer, among other things. It's an interesting question. It was just an organic process. It really started about investing in real estate and kind of kind of switched gears. And we pulled our marketing team in-house to focus on our venture, cap- venture capital side. All right. Awesome. So let's talk about each one of the properties that you're working on. Sure. Like I said, we have a 36-room boutique hotel. Um, we're, both properties are located in the Guanacaste region of Costa Rica, which is on the Pacific side, northwest part of the country. We also have a brand new eight-building uh, eight condominium complex. Brand new development just got finished about three weeks ago. So those are not small projects. No, I think by the end of the year, we will have uh, north of $25 million in transactions. That's absolutely amazing because you didn't start doing this that long ago. We started kind of on a smaller scale back in 2013, um, houses, short-term rentals, and we started working on building that portfolio up into multifamily, so apartment complexes. And so we're just north of 2,000 units, 2,023 doors to be exact. Um, And we really fell in love with Costa Rica, the local community, the the nature, the flora and the fauna, it, it is just a beautiful place. So we're really excited to expand our global footprint. Well, that is awesome. Houses, condos, hotels, you're playing Monopoly for real money. I love it. Working <laughs> your way up. Um, I, that was going to be my next question. How did you f- decide on Costa Rica in the first place? I've been there probably a dozen times at this point. Uh, my family has property up there and really just fe- fell in love after visiting it the first time and couldn't get enough of it. Well, congratulations on that. Obviously, wonderful to develop in paradise. And, you know, you just have to go down. It's tax deductible, right? You just have to go down and check on stuff uh, frequently. Um, It's a hard knock life, I bet. It's a rough life. (laughs) Yes. So when you talk about the investor acquisition side, what type of offerings are these? Is this a, you know, which kind of offering and what types of investors allowed to participate in each? Right now, we're only taking accredited investors. However, non-accredited can also inquire. We're debating on whether or not to open up that can of worms. Um, 
it's it's a, a huge legal process that involves a lot of paperwork and they're very two different kinds of uh, investment opportunities so for the moment accredited investors um but yeah if you want to check out the projects we have going on in vodaglobalcapital.com both of our Costa Rican properties are in there and more information about each one of those respective properties. That is awesome. Um, what's been your biggest challenge along the, along the way in terms of on the real estate side? The way things work in, I, I don't know if every country is the same, but kind of cross borders with um, different rules, regulations, different processes, um, getting due diligence on these properties has been a challenge. Um, working with kind of a cultural difference in terms of how things are communicated uh, on the financial side, getting expenses and all that kind of stuff has just been uh, a big challenge. But we, we have a great team out there, uh, brokerage that's helping us with the entire process. So, Well, that is awesome. And thousands of doors, you're obviously doing something right. Um, what do you like best about the, what you're doing on the real estate side? I think every day is different. I think that's what really kind of attracted to me to this, you know, the first place. And I've I've never been one to want to sit behind a computer all day. And this gets me out. I get to meet with different people. Every project's different. All the challenges are different. So things just don't get boring. Well, that's awesome. You're you got a incredible marketing firm with a large footprint and and now a real estate empire that's pretty sizable how do you juggle it all you just have to have a really good team people helping you out and um you know really being able to to rely on others awesome what else do you want to share about the real estate projects that i haven't thought to ask you yet well we are going to be continuing to expand our multifamily portfolio um, but right now we're focused steadfastly on these Costa Rican projects are very important to us outside of the, the money component. They're um, a little bit of a passion project for me too. So uh, I'm really trying to stay focused on that. But once these transactions are finalized, you know, we'll start moving back to apartments um, in the U S. Awesome. Well, we will keep tabs on that for sure. Uh, this is, we greatly appreciate your time. We know it's incredibly valuable. This has been Seth Green for Sharkpreneur with Bryce Holmes. Bryce, thanks so much for coming back. Thanks again for having me. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching or listening to either of our podcasts. We will talk to you or see you next time. Why do so many businesses struggle while others seem to explode overnight? Do you wish you had the secret to this type of exponential growth? Now, I've scaled more than 20 businesses to over $100 million, and it's not just luck. In my new book with Mark Tim, Mentor to Millions, you'll learn the repeatable framework I use in all my business ventures for massive success. Order at KevinMentor.com and get over $1,000 in bonuses. Head to KevinMentor.com.